If you're familiar with SAP PC32, the transmit is on the subband and the receive is going to be on the main band. Now, using the SAT controller, it's actually reversed. The SAT controller controlling the IC9700 will have the transmit band on the main band, and then the sub band is going to be where you receive. And to see the waterfall, all you need to do is click sub or main to change that. So sub is what's set right now so that I can see the FT4 as it's coming in. The thing is, is you do need to make a change on your computer in order to have the computer hear the sub band on the USB cable that's connected in the back. And I'll show you how to do that next. To change the sound settings, what we're going to need to do is click on the Windows Start menu here and then type in Sound. And Sound Settings is going to pop up. Click on that. And then under Sound here, we have input. You want to choose, if it's not already selected, the audio codec coming from the IC9700. And then you want to go to Device Properties. So click here. And then you're going to go into Additional Device Properties. And that will bring up the microphone properties for the audio codec. Click on the Advanced tab, and this is going to by default be one channel. What you need to do is switch this to two channel. So click two channel, 16 bit, 48,000 DVD quality. Click Apply. Click Yes. Click OK. And now you should have two channels coming in to your computer from the IC9700. The next thing we need to do is launch WSJTX and change the settings there. If you were using the last video that I made showing how to use WSJTX with SAP PC32, you'll be familiar with the two icons. One's for transmitting and receive, and the other one is for receive so that you can hear yourself. You're gonna wanna change the settings in both of these. So I'm gonna open up both. What you'll wanna do now that both of the windows are open, my transmit WSJTX and my receive WSJTX. Under both of them, click File, Settings, and then you're gonna select the Audio tab here. And under the USB Audio Codec selection, change it from Mono to Right. What that's gonna do is the subband comes in on the right side of those two channels that you can configured in the Windows settings. And this will be able to hear the subband on the satellite so you can now work FT4 again. Click OK on this. Do the same thing on your receive only WSJTX. So we change from mono to right. Click OK. One last step that you might need to do is reboot your computer. I have had issues where WSJTX just isn't decoding until after I've rebooted my computer. So that might be a step you need to do. Try it out after you've made the settings changes and hopefully you'll be all set to run FT4 on the satellites with a SAT controller. The last setting change you're going to want to make is on the SAT controller itself. You want to click on radio down here and then where it says update interval, you're going to want to change that to 100. I believe it defaults to 500 milliseconds, but you want the frequency to change quickly for the Doppler shift for FT4. So the lowest it'll go is 100 milliseconds change it to 100 milliseconds and then click save radio settings and it will close out you'll be good to go and now you can use ft4 on the birds